magnets. When you when you apply a magnet into uh, the field of space, it actually aligns a particular grid line. And when you put electricity and movement behind that, then it becomes that 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 structure of magnetic grid line becomes a wave depending on the structure. So, so basically what I'm saying is that different energy, different levels of energy have a different structure. And then, and then on top of that is the, is the electricity that will actually push these things, this magnetic field around. That's what a wave is. So for somebody to transmit a signal from one place to another means that that electromagnetic wave, the ability is already in the three dimensions. It's not like it's being shot like a basketball. It's actually being shook. And there's a fabric uh, in the uh, three dimensional plane. So anyway, long story short, I was gonna show this with that. Basically, um, it creates this it, it creates this field, okay? As it's running through, it goes through uh, an area um, called the thymus gland, all right? And uh, through the thymus gland, it's argon. Notice that argon has eight valence electrons, doesn't have any empty holes in its valence shell. Neon also has eight valence electrons, but helium only has two valence electrons, okay? So what's going on in this column is that most of these have eight. Neon has eight, argon has eight, as do krypton, xenon, and radon. Something real travels along, and we call that upward sweeping something a traveling magnetic field. The thing that makes it real is when you to notice that no current, so that each one can rise and fall, instead of a row of coils, we've got a row of rods. We're going to feed them with alternating current so that each one can rise and fall. And when we turn the whole thing, we get the impression of something traveling along. But I want you to notice that nothing actually travels along because each rod only moves up and down. The thing that makes it real is when we put something into one of the troughs of the wave. Then something real travels along. You can make it go the other way. If you watch an individual rod such as this one, you'll see that it's only going up and down. There is no horizontal movement at all. Only the ball is a real thing moving side to side. It's exactly the same with this magnetic river. I can...